A show me and my dad both loved when I was younger was Star Trek. And I'm talking about the series with Patrick Stewart and uh, oh, by the way, I got to meet Commander Riker once. But anyway, all the episodes kind of blended together for me over the years, but there's one episode that always stood out. I'm talking about the one where they're playing poker and the ship ended up being destroyed. But luckily they were trapped in a time loop so the day happened again and again until they figured out they were in a time loop and figured out how to keep the ship from exploding. So so after watching that episode, I remember thinking, huh, what if I was ever trapped in a time loop? And if that ever did happen, I would hope to be trapped in a day where it's either a really fun day or one where you get to correct some fatal error. Because it would be the worst if you were ever trapped in a really boring day, say you took classes all day, then came home and went to bed. That's the day you had to repeat over and over again. How boring would that be? I think living those days even one more time might just be too much. A student was forced to drop out of college after a bizarre case of chronic deja vu that left him unable to lead a normal life. The 23-year-old even stopped watching TV, listening to the radio, or reading newspapers or magazines because he believed he had seen it all before. He told doctors that he was, quote, trapped in a time loop and said that he felt as if he was reliving the past moment by moment. Details of the case have been revealed in a report published by the Journal of medical case reports, doctors are baffled because the man does not suffer from any of the neurological conditions usually seen in people who normally suffer frequently from deja vu, which is French for already seen. Doctors now think that it might be panic attacks that have triggered the phenomenon. The author of the report, Dr. Christine Wells, a psychology expert from Sheffield Hallam University, said it could be the first case of a person experiencing persistent deja vu stemming from anxiety. Although most people experience experience occasional feelings of deja vu more frequent and intense forms are usually only seen in people who have seizures in the temporal lobe, a condition called temporal lobe epilepsy. But here's the thing. Brain scans showed no signs of seizures or neurological conditions. The man also underwent a series of psychological evaluations to check his memory, which failed to show any major issues either. The student, who has not been named, first complained of symptoms of deja vu in 2007, shortly after starting college. He had a history of feeling anxious, particularly a fear of germs, which led him to wash his hands very frequently and to shower two to three times a day. Which doesn't sound that abnormal, but his his anxiety worsened when he began college. Anxiety and depression led him to take a break from his studies and then he began experiencing deja vu. The early episodes sometimes lasted only for minutes, but other attacks could be extremely prolonged. He reported feelings as though he had become trapped in a time loop. He reported finding these experiences very frightening. He later returned to college and described the deja vu episodes as becoming more intense. In 2008, he was referred for or neurological examinations, but tests once again came back normal and he was treated with a range of medications. He was assessed again in 2010, by which time his persistent deja vu caused him to avoid television, radio, as well as reading newspapers and magazines as he felt he had already encountered the content before. Rather than simply the unsettling feeling of something that is very familiar, which are normally associated with deja vu, the man complained that it felt like he was actually retrieving previous experiences from memory, not just finding them familiar. Academics from the UK, France, and Canada were called in for the study, which was led and published by Dr. Wells. Here's the thing. Nobody knows for certain exactly how or why deja vu happens. We have a theory, but we don't know for absolute certainty. So the theory is that deja vu is a phenomenon that arises from activity within the temporal lobe, and that mistimed firing of neurons caused a temporal temporary glitch in the processing of incoming information within the brain. And there's also the non-mainstream theory that we are all a little bit psychic and we all have a certain degree of ESP and deja vu happens when we sort of see into the future a little. Personally, when I experience deja vu, I don't feel like I've done something twice. I feel like I've actually had a dream about something I'm experiencing. You know when you're doing something, you're like, oh, uh, I, I had a dream about this before. And the feeling is so real to me. I will even question myself and try 
to remember like the rest of the dream to the point I'm like certain that yeah I had a dream about this before anyway so that's my theory about deja vu you actually dreamed about that event before so I don't know maybe our subconscious is a little more awake when we sleep and can see into the future and project that into our dreams oh also if I could live every day twice uh, I would actually think that's awesome school would have been really easy because I would have known all the questions to the exams when I was young I would freak out about possibly asking a girl out well now you know the answer anyway guys let me know your theory about what causes a deja vu also what would you do if you were caught in a time loop again if you haven't seen it before please check out my food slash cooking channel it's in the description below thanks so much for watching see you later